Hi, I'm Mitch Mitchell. I decided to go back to telling people what my name was just because I don't know that everyone knows my name. Now, after I'm done with this video, you saw in the picture, I'm going to eat myself some wavy lays, lightly salted, with some French onion dip. This is uh, something called Marzetti. I don't know if it's local or not. I didn't see it down south, but I'm going to have a good time with that. I just thought I'd get that out of the way. So anyhow, this video is talking about Blab. And I wrote a blog post, which I'm going to eventually link to uh, in, this, in this video, talking about doing my first Blab. And the first Blab I actually did was a test with my friend Eileen Smith because she'd been talking about it and I'd been him hawing about it because I hate jumping on the brand new thing every single time. But she wanted me to come see it. So we went and she showed me some things while I was hanging in there. And I said, okay, this isn't so bad. This is pretty cool. And I've got one other video. Actually, I've got two that are associated with my account. One was I was interviewed by my friend Marcy Hill. And we talked about leadership and healthcare and writing and stuff like that. That was kind of cool. It was about 30 minutes. And then I did a little introductory video on my own on that channel just to let people know who I was, although ain't nobody coming, at least <laughs> at least yet. And I wanted to talk about it because there was this sense that when it first came out, people were starting to wonder, well, is this going to replace Google Plus Hangouts? And is this going to replace YouTube videos now that you have this new thing? Well, we already had Periscope and Meerkat, and I haven't done either of those, and I don't see me really doing them unless someone invites me to go. But I wanted to kind of talk about this because we always have these new technologies that come up, and the first thing people start wondering is, is this going to replace Blank? Is Blank now dead because we have this new thing? So I wanted to kind of talk about Blab. Um, in general, I think it has some great upsides to it. I like the fact that you can have, you know, a few people in there talking about something at the same time. It was really easy, for instance, for Marcy to interview me there. And we saw other people when they popped in. And I think she said hi to the few people who popped in. And that's something unique you can do. If you have more than one person, maybe you have one person who's designated as the watcher into the little window. Because Blab has this thing where it's got basically a column on the side for chat. So you see people when they come in, they can ask questions by doing, I think it's hashtag Q or Q hashtag. I don't remember exactly. Not hashtag, slash. It's one of those. I don't really remember. Um, but, you know, it has these different columns of things, so you can answer people's questions if you want to. And, you know, in general, that's, that's kind of neat. And, you know, it's a, it's a different kind of thing with the Google Hangout, because with Google Hangout, if you're talking with someone, you can decide to open up this other program so that people can ask questions. Or maybe if you can keep an eye on the Google Hangout page and see if anyone writes anything there and you can respond to. Um, so Blab makes that kind of easier. But where I think it kind of breaks down is, well, pretty much like tonight. Now I'm doing this basically at, uh, what is it, almost 2 o'clock in the morning <laughs> because I, I keep late hours. And it's almost 2 o'clock in the morning, and I decided let's go see what's going on over in Blab. And you know what's going on? A lot of nothing. And I don't mean there's nobody there because there's some people there. But I checked in on a couple of the things, and maybe it's just because it's late night, but people weren't really talking about anything. As a matter of fact, one of the ones I clicked on, they were just blah, 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 blah. And, and, and it's almost word for word, if you want to know the truth. And then they all put on their hoodies, and they closed it up, and they just had their eyes. And I'm thinking, okay, wow, this is exciting, you know. And I have to tell you, I've never seen anyone do that with a Google Hangout. Maybe they do. But I've never seen it. I've always at least seen people having a conversation of some kind. Even if it's a stupid conversation, I've always seen them having a conversation. This wasn't a conversation at all. And I checked in on a couple of the others, and it, it, that just wasn't appealing. And I said, well, okay, that's not so much fun. You know what that reminded me of? It reminded me of the old chat rooms from the late 90s when that was a brand new thing, when AOL and Time Warner, because I had Time Warner, open up these things where people could go in there and have these chats. But I got to tell you, those actually, the chats were a lot more exciting than this was. So, you know, I looked at this Blab thing and I said, 
you know, maybe it's better when it's planned. When there's a program where you're going to have at least one other person on to talk to, and maybe you decide, okay, we're going to take 30 minutes or 45 minutes. We're going to start talking on a topic. And as people want to come in, maybe we'll let them come in, ask their question. We will answer their question or let them give their opinion. And I think it depends on what the topic is because I'm just sitting there imagining what kind of opinion some people might come in with and what they might say and how they might say it. And for someone like me who would probably be using Blab more for business stuff than for, well, for something like this, I just don't know that I'm going to trust any old person to come in and say something that now I'm going to wonder, okay, now do I keep that or not? I, I don't really know. Uh, one of the strange things about Blab, or I don't know if it's strange, but good things, is that even if you record the video and you leave it there, you don't have a lot of people who can come back and say all kind of nasty stuff, unlike YouTube videos. But still, the YouTube video, I think, is one of the coolest things. People, It's still the big dog. People can find you if your topics are kind of cool. And I, you know, I don't see Blab replacing that. I don't see it really replacing Google Plus Hangouts. Yes, there are going to be those people who are just absolutely in love with Blab. And I've seen that on Twitter. You know, these people are saying, oh my goodness, I'm never going back to Google Plus Hangouts. But you know what? I know a couple of those people. They never were on Google Plus Hangouts to begin with. So <laughs> they're not really missing anything. They've never really tried it out. Um, but one of the weird things I've seen people do on Blab that I've never seen anyone do on a Google Hangout is they're filming a Periscope or a Meerkat at the exact same time. So people are holding their phones and they're doing this, talking to themselves, and you kind of see them in the thing so they can record themselves at the same time that they're doing a blab. Are you kidding? I mean, maybe that's a thing now, but I'm thinking, you know, pick a platform and just stick to the one thing and stop trying to reach everybody at the same time. Do them all differently. I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm just this old guy who's sitting there saying, you know, here, you kids, get out of that bucket or something. I don't I don't know. <laughs> that's my old guy voice. I'm not quite that old, but, you know, that's my old guy voice. I don't know. I, I mean, I would be interested to find out how many of you folks really like Blab, what you think of it. Do you think it's going to replace Google Plus Hangouts? Do you think it's going to replace uh, doing videos on here? Um, truthfully, I, I'm going to say no. Um, I'm not a real one of those real creators. I don't know how to edit anything, so I can't create anything fancy. Blab's never going to allow that, so therefore, you're always going to have the entertainment folks who are going to do their thing, and thank goodness for that, because I love that kind of thing. But I think Blab would be cool if if you had four people who went and saw the same movie, but they didn't live in the same location, and now they got to talk about it. I think that would be kind of cool. I, I'd love to hang on to something like that, although I don't really see a lot of movies. You know, I'm, I'm still waiting for the next big thing. Okay, I'm waiting for, this, for the Peanuts movie. Okay, yes, I've said it. I'm waiting for Peanuts. Uh, I'm just a big kid at heart. So anyhow, let me know what you think. And that's all I got. Blab, potato chips, and dip. Y'all take care.